And today, the city will hold a job fair for squeegee workers to help get them off the streets just days before the mayor begins his long-awaited squeegee collaborative plan. Yana Massey joining. <laughs> so they're doing a lot. They're putting a lot into these squeegee boys, man. And how many they have to pay to show up to this? <laughs> What's 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 the date of this report? Because they've been doing the squeegee collaborative for about shoot three to four months now. Are they only yeah. doing this because of that one guy who decided to uh, shoot back <laughs> when his mom got robbed of the uh, I mean, what the cash app or something like that? Is this the reason why they are holding a, a job fair for them? No, I think no they're doing it when they the problem oh. for a while. Yeah, and then when the the glider was murdered, that heightened um, the urgency because uh, and this has been going on for, I mean, months, years of them just just taking advantage of people coming into the city, especially gliders. And then when yeah, the glider was them, murdered, this is downtown. This is not. Yeah, this, this, these kids are not like in some <laughs> fucking hood on the edge of town. Exactly. This is, downtown where the fucking the the life blood of the city this is where all the tall buildings are where all the people with suit and ties are working at they're right in the heart of downtown doing this shit the economic the center of the city yeah exactly salute to deluxe 247 the real mvp aka cal ripkin salute to you man um salute, yeah, salute. Is, definitely um this is, this is, this shit right here, I, I think that's what a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people think they could never do this in the hood. They could never operate like this in the hood. They get their fucking heads knocked off. They can only do this downtown in a democratically run city. Related squeegee collaborative plan. Miana Massey joining us live to break down the details of all that, that's to come, which many say is a long time coming, Miana. Yeah, well, Cena, like you said, this is all a part of Mayor Brandon Scott's squeegee collaborative plan, and it's been long awaited. And so he's actually providing youth in our city with opportunities and better pathways to educational and uh, job opportunities for them. So today, the mayor will gather with city council members and also community members to really just introduce youth ages 14 to 24 to a career zone. There they'll feature opportunities for interviews, mental health, education, and also also, they'll provide opportunities for grooming services. Now, starting next week, no squeegee zones will be established in six areas. This is where squeegee activity has been most prevalent. This includes President Street, MLK Boulevard, Sinclair and Moravia, Northern Parkway and Wabash, also Light and Conway Streets. Now, in these zones, enforcement will include two strike warning systems. Now, be that's before a two strike warning systems. Yo, can you imagine being a glider and seeing them cats roll, roll up on your car? <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, no Boulevard, that that's, that that's the suit and tie area? Yeah, I mean, these kids are not fucking in the fucking hood running up yeah, on that, people's I mean, cars. Right. I mean, they, they literally, like, if a glider is trying to help them and say, okay, well, I'll cash up you a couple of dollars, they will snatch the phone and literally rob the glider of everything in their account. Yeah, clean it out completely. Yes. Yeah. They even scared me to the point where I deleted my cash app off of my phone. <laughs> so so tell, us, tell us what happened. What happened? No, 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 no. I'm not. I mean, I didn't come up across them, but just from your reports and me following oh. Baltimore news, I said, well, let me try to, you know what I mean, allevi alleviate it. And I just, every, I'll send a person a cash app if they, you know, do a job or something for me. But it, as soon as I'm done with that, I take it off. I delete it off my phone. You uninstall the app? Yes. Yeah. That's why I looked at those. cash app. I looked at it. And it says you have to link it to a bank account. You can't like preload it like a debit card. It's like, if I Correct. can't preload it like a debit card, I know exactly how much is on there. I ain't using it. Yeah, once 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 you once it's sent, it's gone. Yeah. Citation is issued. Today's event is really just working to provide better opportunities.
We have a plan. There's support for the plan across the board. I think it's a good idea. It's a lot better than them standing on the corner trying to um, wash the windows and trying to get money. Ma'am, they want to be there on the corner. She, yeah. she, she's she's one of the people that thinks like they uh, given a given to another opportunity given the opportunity to sit in a fucking job site constrained by four yeah. walls and a manager and a time clock and rules and regulations and codes and shit they would take that over fucking robbing people and fucking smoking weed um and hanging out with their homeboys. Yeah, because that's all it is. It's it's it's, it's extortion. Period. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. in twenty twenty three needs someone to wash their windows. You have freaking yeah. windshield wipers and windshield wiper flu and, and and fluid. Yeah, it's a joke. And every gas station's almost every gas station has washer fluid and the the not no not and, the hood ones, bro. One there. Yeah, oh, not not, not the ones here because they steal them. Yeah. Yo, uh, to their point too, there was a company that opened up in uh, Detroit, and they they thought they were gonna do real good. They were offering everybody breaking like up bad, bro. Like oh, you, you, you breaking up bad. Like I don't know what it is. You you might want to go out and come back in because it's like your um your um. It's like I don't know some crazy noise. You got LA Thorn. What's up, LA Thorn? Oh God, what's what's your what's your thoughts on this LA Thorn? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, Ark, man, you know, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to be as effective as people think because, you know, I don't think you know, it's these gonna be programs don't fucking, don't, don't fucking help that much, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is going to be effective at all. I think this is going to be, they're giving them two straight, they're giving, they, they're creating no squeegee zones, but they're saying you got two strikes to be down there. If, if you if you get caught the first time, you don't get in trouble. You get caught the second time, you don't get in trouble. It's the third time. We're not gonna like come on, man. What's the odds of a squeegee boy getting caught three times? It's so many of them. What's the odds of one of them getting caught three times in a no squeegee? And I guarantee just like those three water three boys, times man. in one day. What's the average age of uh these guys? Uh what are are these mostly teenagers? He said 14 to 24. Okay, yeah. yeah. Damn, you nailed it, because I was about to say there's older ones too. You nailed it, bro. Yeah, man. Windows and trying to get money. And so the resource and hiring event will kick off today from 3 to 7. That's at the UA House at Fayette. Now, this entire plan will kick into effect. That's on Tuesday, and it will cost about $5 million. Now, a portion of that cost will help with, uh, will come from private donations. I mean, five million bucks could be used. But I guess, fuck it, you gotta. Playing before yeah. a sold out crowd at the Smoothie uh, King Center. A lot of people at the blender today. Ahead, fans are I put a uh, a product. I was gonna say is that five minutes to go for a lot for like startup businesses, man. Yeah. I put a, a product in the uh, private chat here. This is a guy I know, and this is a system that he made. It's pepper spray for outside your vehicle. You mean for for to out your window? Yeah. No, out up, over the top of your car. So it is what happened. Uh, I have to. I'll look at it in a second. Hold yeah, on. pull it up and it's got a video. Okay, let me let me let me see. You put it in the back chat. So what is it? Uh, like a cannon from your vehicle or some shit? Like or it like a small? Like, it like looks a, like a. It looks like a little antenna, like you have on most cars, like an OnStar it's like antenna. A, it's an overhead sprayer. Yeah, but it's got four <laughs> nozzles. It's <laughs> crazy. This shit, this shit is I mean, it doesn't beat what they do in South Africa. They have the flamethrowers underneath the car. That's better. Oh, I on my ferret, on my British ferret, I have actually have a hull shocker. A what shocker? A hull shocker. What's that? It, it electrifies the entire outside body of the vehicle. Oh wow! Yeah. So this is what this is what you need for the squeegee boys. I, I got something better. Why don't you just have a uh, ISIS uh, guy just uh, wire up a bomb? Oh, shit. Listen, that, if you did that, these guys, uh, those guys would fucking kick, put all types of dents in your car. They would throw shit at your car. 
your car would come out looking like goddamn um a fucking bumper car or some shit after they got through with your shit if you did this. this huh? ain't they, would, they, would, they, would, they would be so many holes in that car. Forget about kicking. They would lit, They would light that car up. I mean, I like the invention, but these dudes, these the squeezy dudes in Baltimore, they packing. Yeah, yeah, they'll start shooting after this. Yeah, the They would shit. fucking light that car up. In South in South Africa, they have something like that, but it's un, it's a flamethrower underneath the car, so it blows it blows it blows actual flames um from underneath the car around the doors. So if you're on the outside of that, and you're cooked. I think that's better. You need something like James Bond, but you know what do you got from Q? <laughs> <laughs> De- definitely better, but definitely illegal. It definitely does. Yeah, if they had that in the U.S., they would fry your butt on on the uh, the DA. Yeah. How about this? How about instead of pepper spray, it sprayed lie. They would still shoot the shit up without that car. <laughs> yeah, like you talking about something that that's not immediate. Like you gotta put them to sleep. These kids it, are yes. dangerous, man. Like um, I think people don't understand like like how dangerous these Santi are. I think I think, well let's listen let's. let's, let's Playing before a sold out crowd at the Smoothie King Center. A lot of people at the blender today. Fans are now returning to their cars. We hope and pray that they were not broken into. It comes after a string of break ins by the Smoothie King Center. Eleanor Tabone joining us now live. Hopefully, some uh, good news, Eleanor. That's right, Devin and Sharice. Now, before we arrived here at the Smoothie King Centre, like you mentioned, the game just finished. We drove around at all the surface parking lots and the side streets where we think people typically park where they, when they're coming to a game, and we did not see any vehicles that were broken or smashed into. Now, this comes after a string of burglar, burglaries. Uh, earlier in the week, there was 62 cars broken into in Jefferson Parish. Then on Wednesday evening after a game, there were multiple cars broken into outside the Smoothie King Centre. Now, NOPD has, is reassuring both the NBA um, and residents that they will be safe, their cars will be safe. Now, when we were driving around earlier this evening and before we, we set up here this tonight, we saw NOPD cars patrolling all the parking lots, especially those parking lots that aren't very lit. Now, this is what was said to us earlier when it comes to keeping our vehicles and people safe. New Orleanians love sports, but that love is being usurped by the possibility of returning to your car and finding it broken into. There's three to five cars, seven to ten cars that's getting broken into, um, valuables being stolen, guns, money, you know, anything they could find. Dozens of cars in a parking lot near the Smoothie King Centre were burglarised during a Pelicans game Wednesday. And that's in the back of many fans' minds as they park their cars before heading to the game tonight. My vehicle, I I believe, should be safe with them there. We saw NOPD patrolling some of the surface lots around the Smoothie King Centre. A fan says those patrols need to increase. Fans who come to the Smoothie (laughs) King or the Dome have to park somewhere. And many choose to park on the street simply because it's free. But when all those spots are taken up, the second best option are these surface lots. But look how dark it is. Not a single light installed. And the only light we see is the lights on top of that NOPD officer's car. If a parking lot is not well lit, I would suggest you find one that has security, that is well lit, that you can get to, and where people walking can see what's going on in that parking lot. NOPD Chief Deputy Superintendent Hans Ganthier says the department has a plan to stop the car break-ins happening during Pelicans games. Working with analytics to determine where exactly the break-ins are happening so they can direct patrol. We will use a lot of overtime for that. We have offered overtime for that. I know the 8th District detectives are working on an overtime basis. Our patrol officers that are working that are also, a lot of them will be on overtime. However, we have directed some of our normal patrols if they're not on calls to ha- to be on, on those locations as well. They need to remain here at the entire time uh, from start to finish, um, not sit in one spot, actually drive around if there's any... Split- oh my God, the system's picky, man. The system's... <laughs> and, and go home and check her drawer. She's got three BLM t-shirts. And, and defund if, the police. 
And if one of those Sun teams is breaking into a car and a cop catches him in the act, chases him, there's a scuffle. A, a, a video goes viral. She's going to be in the comment section bitching about the cops. Heck, if they chase him and he pulls a gun and and, and starts to point it at him and they shoot him dead, <laughs> there'll, there'll be a, a protest. Yeah, this is just this is this is putting cops right in the crosshairs. I'm totally against this, man, because this type of these types of crimes put you in direct conflict with a son team that's going to be running. He's going to be desperate. Even though he was just stealing from a car, why'd you have to kill him? Yeah, it's, 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 this, this is this is very. I dangerous. mean, she chose that life. I mean, you got people like stealing chargers, challenges, you know, hundies and kids and all that, man. So, you know, it's not a real incentive to buy those types of cars, even though some of them may be cheap, you know. They need to remain here at the entire time uh, from start to finish, um, not sit in one spot, actually drive around. If there's any suspicious activity, I think they should be checking it out. Those distinct blue and white lights reassuring those parking in car parks. To be honest, only reason I parked right here is because I saw the cops. Um, usually I'll go into like a parking garage, but that's still not the best. One fan says he made sure to empty out his car before parking. I mean, you worry, but you try not to bring anything that you know that they could take. You know, I got nothing in my truck that they would want. Devin and Sharice, some advice there. Now, if you choose to park when you're coming to the Dome or the Smoothie King Centre, try and park somewhere where there's a lot of light so you can see it, it, you feel safe. Never leave anything valuable in plain sight. If you need to leave it in your car, hide it under the seat, put it in the glove compartment. Also, some advice from law enforcement, never leave your gun inside the car, leave it at home. And if you park your car at home, make sure you also take it inside with you. Reporting live, Eleanor Tabone. What? Leave I it good. Yeah, I got, I got an issue with. So, yeah, I would have an issue with that. I mean, you should be able to take your firearm, um, in that particular place, unless it's a private, uh, property that says you can't take your gun. But uh, keeping your firearm in your vehicle, I, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do that. Are you going to have to lock it up? I think they ought to be able to rent lockers for you to be able to lock your firearms up at the stadium before you go in. Because that way you're not defenseless when you go back to your car. Exactly. 